you got all space. I can get. No, you can. <laughs> Actually, just keep filming. Keep filming. Keep filming. Ooh, all right. Europe was popping. Photo me, Ike. Back at it again. Reunited with the lovely Miss Monique. Okay, okay. Miss Body Yadi Yadi. Okay, you if you know, don't know. know me. All right, yeah. So you guys, we linked back up because Westcott sent me some new flashes, some new gear to test out and you know talk about review, see what's popping. We have the Westcott FJ200, and then the new, uh, what is this, the FJ80, I think? FJ80, <laughs> the new flash. So, the new 200 watt strobe, and then their new on-camera flash. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both of these. I know for sure I'm gonna use the 200 watt today, but I may not use this one in case I use backlight. But either way, um, we're gonna put these, these things to work and see what they do, see what, you know, what I come up with. Uh, no more talking, I'm just gonna get straight to it. And uh, yeah, you ready? Let's get it. All right, bet. Like I always do, I'm gonna show you guys behind the scenes, show you my setup, show you how you get down, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move forward. Let's, Let's do it. Let's get it. Okay, so you guys, also, before I left my house, right as I left my house, a package came in the mail. I forgot, Bill Trox sent me out the, what is this? It's a Z-mount. It's an 85 1.8 for the Nikon Z system. Finally, we getting some third-party support, so Bill Trox sent me out this list to test out, so I will also be using this in the shoot as well. Uh, but the shoot will mainly be about the Westcott Flash, but uh, who knows what I might do. So anyways, yeah, check this out. Brand new out the box, all right? Let me, I didn't even open it up yet. The box feels good. Right. Ooh. That's clean. Okay, so, uh, using the FJ200 flash, interesting enough, according to the interwebs, you can use the S-mount bracket to, um, I guess, store or host the flash, or whatever, or mount the flash, so you can use other, um, what's the word, modifiers, right? So, I know in the box it comes with like a basic reflector, a smaller reflector, but you know, we like to use soft boxes, we like soft light, and so uh, we like options. So. If you do happen to purchase this and want to know how to use different salt boxes, you can put it right in here. We're going to cover that logo, okay, all right? <laughs> we'll cover the logo, but it's just an S mount bracket, all right?
looks like Westside has joined the Cool Kids Club and they have added a portable battery powered 200 watt strobe to their arsenal of equipment. Now, that's great news for those of you who already own the FJ400 and were looking to expand their kit. I've been using the FJ400 on most if not all of my shoots since I got it earlier this year and I've been enjoying my time with it. But I couldn't wholeheartedly recommend the West Sky brand to anyone looking to build a flash kit because they were missing the ecosystem. Something like how Profoto and Godox kind of have. Well, now with the inclusion of these new products like the FJ80 and FJ200, I can feel good about recommending the West Scott lights to anyone looking to build a flash kit for like wedding and portrait work. Okay, so they have the lights, but are they any good? Can they compete with the competition? Well, like I already said, the FJ400 is awesome and already proven to be a solid product. I didn't get a chance to test out the FJ80 on this shoot, so I have to get back to you on that one at another time, but I did get to use the FJ200 and it got the job done. I mean, I could run through all of the detailed specs, but you could do that on your own time. The gist of it is, it's a supportable 200 watt strobe with a built-in round head, which is great for filling out salt boxes and umbrellas that we all like to use. It has a max recycle time of 1.3 seconds at full power, color stability, and over 450 full power flashes per charge. And it can fit in your camera bag without taking up too much space. Size wise, it's comparable to like a 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. So what's there not to like about it? Honestly, I don't know yet. I haven't had the flash very long and this was literally my first time using the flash on this shoot. So I have to come back at a later date with a full review. But in the meantime, I will say that I love the ease of use. If you're already familiar with products like the FJ400 and the X2 Trigger, you'll feel right at home with the FJ200. The easy to read LCD color display makes this light very easy to use and the battery lasted the full shoot with some power to spare. Between me and my assistant, we probably shot well over 500 images, so it's nice to know that the battery can hold up. And the light was fast and responsive, I didn't have any hiccups or misfires. So yeah, first impressions of this light, well done Westcott. Now if I don't want to take my FJ400 on location, I can take this instead. Like I said, this is just a first impressions video, so there are some things that I would like to touch on like the use of adapters and the quote unquote Jinbei controversy and all, but I haven't spent enough time with this light to give it a full review, so I'll save all of that for a later video down the line. Let me know what kind of questions you might have so that I can address those in the video when I do decide to do a review. In the meantime, uh, peace out and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the shoot. Hope you guys enjoyed the mall again. Yes. You have fun? Yes. Okay. So Always. You like I said before, she's moving to Texas, Houston. So if you're in Houston and you got a dope portfolio, hit her up. It took me forever. I followed her for a while and never hit her up to shoot. And now she's about to move. And so, but we got a few shoots in and she'll be back and we'll link up again. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the light, I probably did a voiceover for this whole thing while I talked. But anyways, um, I'll give my thoughts on the light and the whole situation. But uh, again, subscribe, hit that like button. Please hit that thumbs up. Um, and yeah, check out, check me out for the next content. I don't know what else to say. I'm 200 plus videos and I still be like, uh. Look what I say. I do too. I do. So like, I think, comment, uh, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Bye. Right, That's out. what I do. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>